have a special broadcast for you. Today, WCAP is celebrating 20 years of live television programming. Hi, I'm Mary Cameron Van Graflin. And I'm Brent Summers. And welcome to WCAP's first edition of Capital News. Beginning in October of 1992, WCAP began broadcasting monthly programs summarizing big events at Broaden High School. Once we started broadcasting live programs every day, WCAP quickly became part of daily life at Broughton. How else would you know what's up around school? Here's how it happened. In 1992, no one liked hearing school news on the intercom system. A group of sophomore students put together a proposal for a school television station. Principal Diane Payne loved the idea. After a few monthly pre-recorded shows, WCAP morphed into a daily live newscast in February of 1993. It goes to show you that with little work, students can make our school a better place for everyone. We've had a lot of faces read the news on WCAP. Every day, the production crew starts things up from the media center. Hi, I'm Aubrey Dollar. We are coming to you from our beautiful studios here at Broughton, and we have announcements for you. Live from the media center. Are you awake yet? Sometimes we get to broadcast around campus, too. Today, our reporter is Nora Ellison. She's standing by live in Miss Jenkins' room where a holiday celebration is underway. Good morning, Nora. Good morning, Javi. How are you doing? Our reporter Andy Snee is standing by live on the first floor. Andy, what happened to the first floor? Hey, what's up? I'm AC, live from Ms. Claus's Cavs class. I'm Jason Bailey. We are coming to you live from the front of the school. Most of you don't know it, but putting on a show every morning of this caliber is quite a feat. Over the last decade, WCP has kept students informed on what has been going on around school. We've also tried to entertain, inform, and promote academic and personal well-being. In appreciation to Brian, Michael Brian Martin, WCAP co-founder, Broughton High School, 1994. In appreciation to Roderick Ennis Smith, WCAP co-founder, Broughton High School, 1994. WCAP has broadcast a lot of serious moments that have happened in our world in the last 20 years. We are all too familiar with the events of last week at Columbine High School. My uncle, uh, I found out, was I haven't heard from him yet, and uh, I know he lives up real close to the World Trade Center, and um, I'm not really sure quite yet if he's, if he's going to be okay. A heavy armed gunman uh, spent yesterday morning roaming the campus of Virginia Tech. Broughton is finally getting back to normal today after a whirlwind of a visit from Vice President Al Gore. On July 29th, Broughton hosted one of the biggest events in our school's history. President Barack Obama spoke at a town hall meeting in the Holiday Gym to discuss his plan for health care reform in our country. Gone Carolina in my mind. Broughton students rallied to keep our IV magnet status in front of the school. Parking at Broughton is a major issue on many students' minds. The front lot now features extra exits onto P Street and lots more parking for students. We've had some special guests join us on our show. Good morning to all of you. I'm sorry to interrupt this award-winning newscast this morning. However, I wanted to come by because I heard that WCAP is celebrating its 15th birthday this morning. Now it's time for sports on WCAP-TV. Some aspiring young students at Raleigh's Broughton High School got to hear about the workings of digital journalism today. I was one of five panelists who talked to the students who are marking the 20th anniversary of their in-house television station, WCAP. You're watching WCAP News. I was on their WCAP television. They actually have a high school television station there. Hi, everybody. I'm Greg Fischel. Stay tuned for ROTC weather from WCAP. We've welcomed some faces to Broughton. Broughton's next principal has been announced. 
Mr. Roy Teal was introduced to teachers this morning at a faculty meeting. Again, my name is Mike Ludwig. I am uh, the new assistant principal here at Broughton High School, and I just want you to know I am delighted to be here. This morning, our new principal, Mr. Mayers, has volunteered to come on our show so we can all get to know him a little bit. The Wake County School Board swore in our new superintendent. As you know, Broughton High School is the cornerstone of Wake County Public Schools and the finest institution that we have. We've also said goodbye to some important people, too. The memories we've made will always have a special place in our hearts. Miss Payne, in honor of all you've done, we'd like to present you these flowers here. This morning we're going to take some time to celebrate and honor a principal, an educator, and our good friend, Mr. Teal. It's very hard to really say goodbye. Um. Sometimes things don't always go so well. All right. <laughs> Finally, this, mo this morning kicks off <laughs> Earth Week. We'll have a few helpful hints for you this week for ways you can help our environment. <clears throat> for instance, recycling new <laughs> <laughs> newspaper saves an equivalent of 17 trees per ton recycled. The energy saved from one recycled aluminum can will operate a 75 white, white light bulb for eight hours. We've got some holiday fun for you on today's show. <laughs> See you, Tom. Back to y'all. Which is this one? All right, go. Uh, what? Go. Um, Hello, everyone, and welcome to WCAP. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> well, that just about does it for today's news. <laughs> a lot of Bronx teachers have appeared on WCAP2. See if you recognize some of these faces. you every day. We also try to give you something to smile about. We don't know what else to call this segment, but what were we thinking? Today is Sport Utility Vehicle Day here on your station. Before we hear what you guys have to play, uh, you've probably been playing a ton of Christmas music these past few weeks, so do you have a favorite Christmas song? What child is this? You know, I've never even heard of that one, so would you mind humming a few bars? Yeah, no. <laughs> well, that's perfectly fine. What is it, Jack? John, will you please go to the prom with me? Oh, hello there. I was just practicing my Footloose kicks for the, for the musical I brought in Footloose. <laughs> it's Tuesday, May 26th. I'm Aubrey Dollar. Welcome to WCAP. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin Pickens. Hi, I'm Edward Freeman with your Jiggy Community Service Opportunities. I'm sorry to say this, but Terrence Daniels has departed. As has Virju Boskert. You lost that love and feeling. <laughs> Whoa, that love and feeling. Go. And have we got news for you? <laughs> Boys and girls, it's your Granny Ludwig. I hope you're hungry. 
you're about to be served with the help, hefty helping of news. We have no reruns here on Channel 2, so with new announcements, you shouldn't get bored. No snow, but a two-hour delay makes today a great Friday. If this ice, icy weather comes in, it could be the first day of February, Jason. Ha! Oh, 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 oh yes. Now that I have a day to prom, I'm going to go tell all my friends. Scary stuff, creepy community service, and Halloween fun. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I know you won't leave me. It's shocking news today. We're looking for Mr. Maris. He's nowhere to be found on campus today. We've been looking high and low. We were able to find this, however, and we are afraid he might have floated away on a balloon this morning. Gray, what is that under there? Underwear. <laughs> Love is in the air. You must have a healthy body to prepare. This is Ben Shock, your sports correspondent. Horsing around. Girl, son, you need to stop looking at those girls. Tell me, Cavs, what does information sound like? Uh, pretty sure it sounds like Capital News. Good morning. Good morning from the bridge of the USS Capitol. Today we're boldly going where no high school newscast has gone before. Hi, I'm a sock puppet replacing Kayla Gillio for sports. Reading is fun for everyone. Reading is fun, 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 fun. Back to you. Ho, 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 ho. And this is the Broughton Drama Club Panda. This morning it looks like the WCAP news shopper is circling our studio with a special announcement. That's it for today. I'm George T. To celebrate WCAP's 20th anniversary, we've digitized our entire archive library. It was a process that took three years. Go online to www.wcaptv.com and you can view special reports that have aired on our show over the last two decades of Broughton Broadcasting. Find out who students wanted to be president in 1992 or watch some CAP sporting teams in action last year. WCAP started out with just a few students working together to make Broughton a better place. Twenty years later, it became a part of Broughton daily life. Today, we have invited back several of our alumni anchors to help in the celebration. We'd like to extend a special thank you to you, our viewers, for helping to make WCAP a first-class, student-run television show. Thank you. <laughs>